Hey there guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well and welcome to an episode of Arc Survival Evolved on the Arcpot Cluster. Now let's start off the video right by making sure you hit that like button. I asked for a thousand likes in the last video and we got nearly 2,000. So let's hit the likes target this time of 2,000 likes. If we're not there yet, please just take a second to smash that like button. Really helps out and I very much appreciate that. So if you didn't happen to see the last episode, we were playing solo and then we ended up joining a big tribe. We started off by unlocking some tech engrams, mainly the tech transmitter, which is going to be really useful for living inside the pearl cave. And then I headed off to get some fresh tames for the tribe. They were lacking in deodons and wyverns, and I went out and tamed a whole load of those on Crystal Isles, as well as had time to go and do a little solo raid on my own. Now, before I tell you about what's going to be happening in this episode, let's take a second to check out today's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends allows you to create a team of champions and take them to battle against a challenging campaign or versus millions of other players worldwide. Not only does it look great, but there's an incredible amount of awesome looking champions to unlock and enemies to do battle with. It's available for both PC and mobile, so go to my link in the description and download it there. Raid has just released a brand new set of champions, the Banner Lords. Now these Banner Lords are based on medieval feudal knights of Europe. They're arrogant and warlike and believed to be fighting for good, although the other factions might disagree. But now with the Ban Lords weakened by the wars of their king, the time might be at hand for these races to right an ancient wrong by whatever means necessary. My favourite Ban Lord champion is Cillian the Lucky. Look at this guy, he's an absolute unit with a huge amount of health and a strong attack stat. So my favourite part of Raid is unlocking new champions and upgrading their armour and abilities. You can take a champion into the tavern and sacrifice your weaker champions to upgrade your favourite ones to have stronger stats and abilities. Now one of the easiest ways to unlock new weapons and armor is through the campaign. This is also a great chance to try different combinations of champions before taking them to compete online against other players. So right now is the perfect time to get into Raid Shadow Legends. They are releasing 11 new champions this month and 200 new missions. And if you complete those missions, you also get a legendary champion. They add new content every single month, so there's always fresh challenges available. So download Raid now and get a huge head start by using my link in the description of this video. Now you can find me in game under the name at JX the Legend. I'm quite a high level, so you've got a bit of catching up to do if you want to compete against me. But why not join my clan? It's called the Scrib Squad or TSSX. Search for that, send an invitation in, and if we've still got room, I'll accept you in and you get all the benefits of being inside a clan. So thanks to Raid for sponsoring the video. It's a game I really enjoy and I think a lot of you guys will as well. Make sure you use the link in the description and let's get on with today's video. So what do we have in store for today's video? Well, I decided to go out with the classic Wyvern and Parasaur combination looking for bases. It's really such a game changer this. I remember when the center came out, they didn't have the whole Parasaur detection thing and it would have made finding bases so much easier. However, for anyone staying hidden, it's obviously not good news. So one of the main reasons I always like to scout the center is because it is very popular with either small tribes or people who are trying to stay hidden. It's actually a really vast map, which is why I like it so much when I'm playing solo or even in a small tribe. Not only is there a great selection of rat holes, but there's such verticality to this map, especially at the edge of the world borders, that there is a good chance that if you find a really nice spot, you might not ever be found. However, being someone that has scouted the center many times, I know a lot of the best places to look and we found ourselves a couple of nice little raids. Now although I'm in a bigger tribe now, I do like to try and raid solo, I don't have to annoy the rest of the guys, I like to try and find a base that is a little bit of a challenge on my own, but it's still not like a complete waste of time, like just a stone base with no turrets. So I found this really good potential target on the edge of the world border. They had a good amount of turrets, it was a tricky little spot to actually raid, and they had a good amount of tames out as well, so there's a good chance that they could be online, which would have made it even more challenging as a solo player. One of the reasons when I play solo, and you might see me raiding in quite a defensive style, is because when you play solo, if you die, it's very, very difficult to recover. Sometimes you might not be able to get your tame back. Sometimes you might not even have sleeping bags there just because you've tried to rush it. So you do have to be a little bit more cautious. So I had to choose my moves carefully here and decide what was going to be the best way to try and attack this solo. So let's get into the live gameplay and see how I did. Found a very raidable base here. I'm thinking I can uh, blow this span. I might be able to get between it with a grapple. Just grapple up, probably blow it. And then I can definitely run this with a beer. The only problem is, sometimes when you do this, you hop off your wyvern, it will land like that. So what you need to do 
he's put it on follow and like medium or low distance low I think it is and the problem is with that is when I try and get up there it's like grapple from somewhere I can stand I think there's anywhere for me to stand here I'd like to come from this side it's going to mean the least amount of turret shooting me neither side's perfect but I could grapple onto this side but then I want a shorter run so ideally you want to grapple to there try and get up there I did bring me spare flak so we'll be careful oh I did bring a little bit of spare flak don't want to soak too much by just being careless with my scouting grapple up to there blow that I think blowing this one here on the left the safest thing to try and do I just get a bit more right yeah then I can grapple to the wall I might be able to grapple to the wall above it the problem I've got is I don't want my wyvern following me once I'm up let's just like whistle that to not follow now see if I can get on there I get shot. Oh, damn, getting shot. Might as well just try and get up there regardless. I'm starting to see four like this. Which I might be able to do. I wonder if I can actually run through there. I've got black up legs and chest, and that's what's being shot. Alright, this might be better. As long as I can get a C4 on here. Maybe not. I don't want to be alright. Try that one. Nice, right, it's blown both of those. I'm not a big fan of like jumping up and getting up so I'd like to get a slightly better view of the grapple it's going to be four for the wall and I've only got four on me so what I want you to do is do this cut this and quickly go there. right okay now I just need to change out my flak oh the gauntlet's got low that's not good. Still got 210 though. Problem is I can't drink my beer when I'm like this. That is a problem. I'm sick if I could just stand on that. Oh, that's a really getting shot there. If I put my beer on my hot bar. And like drink it as soon as I get up. That should be chill. Before I do that, I would like to try just like getting on there. If I can stand up and not get shot, that'd be the move. I get shot there. I think I will. gauntlets are going to go on me. We'll come back and we'll throw the stego out. Okay, on my way back with the stego. I'm going to play it safe. I know it seems silly. You probably could, I probably could just rush this, to be honest. Grapple up, beer as soon as I stand up and go in with a C4. However, I want to do it right. I hate just randomly dying, even though it might be a little bit quicker. Uh, so we're going to try and put the stego up there. Basically, fly up with the wyvern and then we're going to uh, try and throw the stego up and then hop on the stego and then if the stego gets too low I'm thinking I'll be able to soak almost all of them but if the stego gets too low we're going to end up um, oh where did my parasol go oh it was here oh did they kill it if stego gets too low we're going to take the beer and rush it 
Alright, this is as close as we're going to get. Get this thing to follow me quickly. I'm going to have to get it to unfollow me once I've thrown this up. Should be able to throw this up there, and then I'm going to grapple on it. Oh, he's right there. That's not good. I won't be able to do much though, because he can't do anything against my Stego. So I should throw it up anyway. even shooting me here. Where even is this one? Oh, it's right at the back there. If I can get off on the right side, should be alright about it here. this wait for this to go they'll probably just go and soak the rest i don't know where the guy's going to spawn i mean obviously he probably felt like died falling you down there but those are down the sleeping player I don't know if i destroyed the beds i probably did See, we've got the other one to worry about. So I might just soak the other one. Because I can. Alright, so we've got random paste. Looking for some tames, ideally. Will these guys have tames? Maybe not. It's not your priority to, you know, raid people. Oh, C4s. Oh, and there we go. Tames. Good RG. A dire wolf? two direwolves. Direwolves are always like popular with these kinds of players. Uh, but yeah, we've got 5C4. So that is just about profit from this. Okay, there. Smithy with some poly in. Doesn't make a difference to me. Let's get up here to these. Really? Can make me blow these? Have I even got a patch or something? empty box and an empty box thick loot boys thick loot but I think I'm going to go soak the rest just so I can walk around freely which is ideal what I'm looking to do see if I can walk around level 94 I feel a bit bad now not a bad little raid there for having to do it on my own and that goes to show you guys if you've got a stego in a dream you can raid quite a lot of bases even if there was more turrets or they were heavy turrets probably could have still pulled that off no problem Throwing the Stego over the edge and then grappling on and getting on it is a really good strategy for any bases we can get close to a cliff edge like that. will work a lot of the time. Watching the raid back, once I threw the Stego up, it wasn't getting shot. I could have gone and gotten an a Plura and then done that. And then if they weren't online, I think that would have been a good strategy because it would have meant I got more of the ARB. However, they were there. They were online. I wanted to get in there, see what was going on. So we jumped on the Stego and got in there that way. 
no mad loot there, but these kinds of bases, you never know what they've got. I've seen some crazy loot in some super basic bases, so my curiosity always gets the better of me, and I at least want to see what's going on there. So with that raid out of the way, there was actually a much bigger target that I found earlier in the day that I was going to need some of the guys on to help me with. This one was tucked away inside of a wall near the floating islands. This is a very popular spot on unofficial because of the no clipping making it quite easy to build in. However, on official it's a little trickier to live in there, but these guys were giving it go. And to be fair, apart from when I had just found them here, they'd remained hidden from everyone else so far this wipe. Now, to be fair to whoever these guys were, there were a lot of turrets and many heavy turrets. I'd say there was a 50-50 split of heavy turrets and light turrets. Now, we're probably less than a week into the wipe here, three or four days. So to have heavy turrets, there's got to be at least one or two players in the tribe that know what they're doing. So this could potentially be tricky. Now, back in the day before the Stego buff, the ideal way to raid a base like this would have been the Quetzal and a Rock Bottom. But Stegos have completely changed the game. So easy to tame, so easy to get good saddles for, so easy to raise that you might as well just use them instead of Rock Golems. For me, Rock Golems just don't even really exist in the game anymore. They've gone from being super, super important in Arc Pop, could raid any base that doesn't have tech turrets in, to why would I do this? I'll just raise 50 Stegos. Any Anyway, we decided to do the whole quits ramp method with a stego on top, which is super, super effective in cliff bases like this, and see if we can get in there, see what they've got. It was just the two of us to start. We set up a fob as close as we possibly could. And you know what it's like when you're raiding and it starts actually going well. More of the tribe ends up turning on to get involved and see what's happening. Yeah, we, we do have to be kind of careful doing it this way. Nope, we're good. Yeah, we've got the mate boost. Nice. So yeah, just uh, stay as low as you can, mate, just so you don't get hit and just get soaking. Be careful, like, when you turn. I mean, I should be right. All right, here we go. We're soaking. You can go up further than this. We're only soaking one. Bit more. Even further. All right, actually, this... We should, we should have got rockets really uh you can go higher than this i'm literally soaking one there we go that's it right stay there stay there right cool i'll let you know when to back away Stego, and think how many bullets we've so. We're still good. Still got another 8k health. Oh damn, we down to autos. Feels like it. I'm literally out healing these autos with the veggie cakes. Hey, we won't pick me. It won't pick us. It can't pick us. It can't pick us. Yeah, both of us. Neither of us can me. be picked. He's going for me. He's going for me. He can't pick us. I just don't know what he's doing. Yep. Right, yeah, soak a bit more. He's naked on it as well. Go on, we soak a bit more. Be careful you don't get hit, obviously, but... Yep, Stego's broken, mate. He can't get picked. Right, oh, mate, I literally healed back up to the half health just from that little break in those veggie cakes. That was sick. But I I'm literally out healing this light, so you might as well go closer. 
is mad. It's it's so broken. You shouldn't be able to soak this many toilets with a stego. It's ridiculous. said it once i'll say it again and i'm sure i'll say it many times until things are changed the stegos are quite obviously broken almost any base is available with stegos now as long as they don't have tech turrets tech turrets can make it a little bit trickier especially if it's a cliff base or hanging off the edge like this however if it's just normal turrets or even heavy turrets one or two stegos and some veggie cakes and you are in there so after having soaked almost all of the turrets with that one stego, we swapped out to a fresh one just to make sure that we would get in the next time that we went up there to sew. My tribe mate that I was with was actually imprinted to the other stego, so he got on the stego while I rode the quets, and then as soon as it looked like they were close to being out of ammunition, I would jump up there and see if I could blow in. I mean, not quite, but I'm, it's a little tricky. Careful the way I reposition. I mean, it looks like it's out, mate. Do you want to just walk on there and just check? Yeah. Right, you soak that. I'm kind of here, about to walk in. I think, oh, there's some internals, okay. Um, what right, I'm gonna do with these internals. I've, I've got a beer, actually. I'm just gonna try and figure out where the actual thing is. You know what I mean? The uh, Jenny. It's kind of hard to see from all these pillars. It's alright, I'm, I'm figuring it out here. I'll get there eventually. This should be it. Oh, I see his other thingy. Blown it, blown the internal. Oh no, I haven't. Oh my god, he's got another. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out where his last, where the other Jenny is. Oh, it, it, it's top middle. It's top middle. He, ah, he's got me here. He's piking me. Oh my god, the lag. He's probably... He, yeah, he's probably going to kill me here, but... I can't jump. Killed him, killed him. Yeah, I, I'm hung over, so I can't move. That's why I'm in trouble. You gotta try and find that. You see it in the top middle. Have you got C4s on you, Kevin? Yeah. If you can see a bed, try and get rid of it. If you can see a bed. I've got C4 on me, but I'm inside and hung over. I think I've I think I've destroyed the bed, though, dude. Like, that can't see any beds here, do you? There we go. Oh, loads of blood bags. It's got tames. Gunpowder. Loads of metal if we actually want to ferry it. We've got loads, haven't we? 
Oh, there's uh, two vaults that are open here. Decent Genesis weapons. And this one... Yeah, I think if they've got Thames, they're in the uh, pin-coded vault. Alright, where, where is it? Where is it? What? Uh, we might have to bring a Parasaur over because there's no way there's no Thames in here. I'll be mad. He can't have this much metal with just a Pteranodon. It's just not possible. <laughs> so a little bit frustrating there for the raid in terms of the loot, but we can't complain because we got in there so easy thanks to our friend the Stegosaurus. They were obviously farmers and I always take my hat off to someone who farms that hard. They had so much metal. They did actually have a decent amount of ammo in the turrets. And it's not that easy making that many heavy turrets in that position because there's not that much poly near to them. There are penguins on center, but it's not exactly the best map ever for poly. So you've got to appreciate the amount of heavies that they actually had as well. Now, some of the guys did take back some of the metal because obviously being in Pearl Cave, it is nice to have a lot of metal because it's a little bit annoying to farm in there. Um, but there wasn't really anything else that we needed, not even like good blueprints or anything like that. They were just farmers and uh, we never did find the Thames. They weren't in anything that was buried like a parasol. Maybe the guy snuck out with the Pteranodon when we weren't looking. Maybe he just dropped the Thames while we were in there after he figured out he couldn't pick us off the Stego. Either way, no Thames for us, but that's not too much of a big deal because we weren't exactly suffering for Thames at this point. So you've made it to the end of the video. You are an absolute legend. And I must say, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like the video. I've heard actually from some people at YouTube that it's better if you like the video towards the end because it shows the, well, YouTube algorithm that people enjoy the video once they watch it, which means a lot more to the algorithm than just liking it at the beginning because obviously you might just like it because you're a cool dude. So if you haven't done it so far, make sure that you do that. And if you're a part of Secret Word Gang, leave the word hidden in your comment somewhere obviously you can relate that to hidden bases hidden loot try and leave it in a comment don't make it too obvious that is the secret word and other than that that's going to be for today's video i do upload every single sunday if you didn't notice my schedule you can negate worrying about when i upload by turning that notification bell on we do sometimes upload in the week and if you want to be sure to not miss an episode as well as the notification bell you can join my discord linked in the description we've also got my social links like instagram so there's going to be some more of my content coming up on screen for you guys to enjoy. But that's it for this one. I'll see you all next time.